summer. So, when I speak of summer, it probably be thinking of no school, the blazing sun, like whatever one want, I want. But there always comes with. But summer, well, summer's fun. It always comes with cons. So here are just a few of the pros and cons of summer. Here we go. All right, let's start off the pros. So when you're thinking of summer, as I said, I probably think of no school. Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna say here. First pro, no school. You don't, you don't have to wake up early. You don't have to go to bed early. You just don't have to go to hell, which is school. So, first pro, no school, basically. All right, here is the second pro. So, some of you, or most of you, like, pretty much, a portion of you, like me, go to summer vacation. Like, go on a vacation, like, every summer. You know what I mean? So, you can go, like, to some place, like, London, Miami. Well, every summer I go to Pensacola, and it's really fun there. There's this river in the Pensacola that you can go to. There's like this spot where you can go camping. That spot is where me and my family go camping every summer. All the way in summer 2018, I didn't get the chance to do it because of my mom's broken ankle. This year, I'll get to do it. And I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna get a new hammock because I'm turning 13. Yes, I started this channel when I was 11. So, yeah. So anyways, pro number two, vacations. Food! Yes, food! We all adore the food. Popcorn, cereal, ramen noodles, a number thing of ramen noodles, crackers, mashed potatoes, green beans. Yes, all the food that we adore, we can eat. So basically in school, you can't eat until lunch. That's already the only period that you can eat during lunch. And school, they have some of the most unreal foods, no offense. They have some of the worst foods in the history of foods. So we get to eat real foods whenever we want. We can eat whatever you want, whenever you want. Well, unless you have time limits for food at home. But this thing is always unlocked. Even though there's a lock on there that you can flip the switch to. We always keep it like that. So, pro number three, food. But, if you're not lazy like me, then the fourth con, you should listen. Here's the fourth con. Not not fourth con. Fourth pro. I can't speak today. So, you know how during the summer, we're, you know, like, in some parts during the summer, like, in Wesley Chapel, Florida, where I live, it's really hot. The sun is blazing like all of us. We'll get to that later. Well, there are lots of ways to cool off. Like, when you go, like, over here... Like somewhere over here, there is a hose or a hose area. You can turn it on and you can pull yourself off. See how that water's getting onto my foot? Splish splash. You can you you can like take a dip in the pool, which we're gonna probably do later today. You can go to the water park, like Adventure Island, my local water park. There are lots of ways to keep your brain going. Like, to cool down. You know what I mean? You can put a sprinkler area to run into. There are lots of ways you can have fun while cooling down. So, fourth pro, cooling down. Like, in an energetic way. So, yeah. Let's get in to the fifth pro. This pro is for when you have pets. For those who don't have pets, I am very sorry. Hope you can get one soon. Well, you know how during the school hours, you have very limited time to play with your pets. During the summertime, you can rest with them. Like, all the damn time. You know what I mean? I can literally play with, 
Fan Rest with do anything with my little doggo. This little doggo. I can literally do anything with this little doggo for three months. Anything I want. What I can do whatever I want, whenever I want with this dog. I can play with her, sleep with her, just relax with her. You know what I mean? Anyways, fifth and final pro. Pets. I'm sorry if you don't have any pets. <laughs> Hope you can get one soon. Now let's move on to the cons. Alright, here goes con number one. So remember I told you that the sun would be blazing in your face? Here in Florida, it gets really hot. Like, 90 degrees out. Today it's 93 to 94 degrees. It is very hot. When you're barefoot, you step on the dirt, it is really damn hot. It, it can literally hurt the bottom of your feet. You sweat in like five minutes. It hurts when you step on the dirt or the concrete. And you have to wear shoes all the time to like not get sunburned. So, first con, pretty much the sun itself. It pleases on you all the damn time, which I don't like. But if you're a sun's favorite, like if you like the sun lacing on your face, then that's on you. But first con, it's pretty damn hot. All right, here's the second con. So during the summer, you say like, stay home. You basically have nothing to do except chill. It, it gets pretty boring when you stay at your house all day, which is why I really want to go somewhere during those days. Like, you just want to go to the water park, go to the water park. But if you're like a kid like me, then it's just not possible. We went to Trista Treat today, which was pretty fun. It was hot out, but we got to cool off with ice cream. But there's pretty much nothing to do. You can go to a friend's house, but it also gets pretty boring. You don't know what to do. So, second con, it sometimes gets pretty boring. Third con. This con is for when you're siblings like me. If you are an only child and you don't have siblings, think it for you. You don't have to deal with annoying brothers and sisters. Yeah, they really get on your nerves. If you're an older sister like me, then you just don't have to deal with it. During the summer, you have to deal with your siblings all the fucking time. Honestly. Please excuse my language. Well, third con, you have to deal with your annoying brothers or sisters for three straight months. Ugh. And the fourth and final con. So there are not surprisingly more pros than cons, but the summer does end before you know it, and then you have to go back to school again. And there are only three months, like eight weeks for this summer. It seems really short. You have to go back to school before you know it. And it's a pretty long school year. But... Those two things do end before you know it. Fourth and final con. The summer ends before you even can know it. Like, all my final fact, time goes by faster than you expect. Like, fast, fast, boom. Faster than the speed of light. That's what it seems. But you're just gonna have to enjoy it while you can because then school comes up. There goes 180 days of boredom. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And I'll see you next time. And comment down below, what are some pros and cons? If you want, you can comment down below, what are some pros and cons about the summer? I'll put in these ones on the list. If you have any pros or cons about the summer, I'll put in the ones featured on this list. Then go ahead and tell me in the comments if you want. I'm not making you. Well, anyways... This is Lavender Gaming, or Gasha, and I will see you in the next video. More videos to come.